Flav City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at the grocery store for another Flav City short. These are a series of videos just for January, just for the new year to help teach you the best quality products you can buy at the grocery store and consume to put in your body. And today's short is all about veggie burgers, especially veggie burgers in the frozen section. It's not just about the front of the package and the types of veggies they're using, it's the type of oil they're using and the other ingredients. So let's dive into this short, going straight for the OG, right? The OG is Boca Burgers. So already I see a, a red flag on the front here. It's made with soy, but at least it's non-GMO soy, but I'm just not a fan of soy. And we look at the ingredients here, right? We see the soy. We see it's made with corn oil, right? Corn oil means that it's highly processed, highly refined. I'll bet that's not non-GMO, right? The soy is. But you also see caramel coloring here which is a bummer, and we see natural flavor. See, the problem is, you guys, caramel coloring is a known carcinogen, but they put it in foods like this to make the burger look brown like that, and the corn oil is GMO, highly processed and highly refined. That's not the kind of stuff you want to put in your body. Luckily, there are better options, right? I go up to Hillary. My girl Hillary's bold. She's like, I make the world's best veggie burger. And Hillary, I'll be the judge of that from ingredients, of course, because I haven't tasted it yet, but we have great ingredients here. Millet, kale, spinach. See, she's using canola, but it's organic, non-GMO, and it has the magic word expeller press there, meaning it's not highly processed. The only knock I might have on her is, you know what, nothing. Everything else there is really clean, so good for you, Hillary. I gotta buy it now and take it home and see if it is the best. And then I know a lot of people like crunch, these quinoa burgers, and it looks very, very clean. It's organic. My only issue is that everything looks really clean here, except the last ingredient is organic sunflower oil. The organic's nice, but we gotta see that expeller press there, so that's a bummer. So I'd much rather you go for Hillary's there. And then I wouldn't call this a veggie burger, right? But the Beyond Burger. It's a meat substitute burger, and this is the new version. Can you see through the fog there? There's flecks of fat there. That's actually cocoa butter, which is crazy. And the ingredients got cleaner. This is version 2.0. They got rid of some of the nasties we talked about last year. They're using expeller pressed canola oil. They're using natural flavors, which is the only bad thing here. They used to have maltodextrin and stuff. So yeah, it's a highly processed burger, but it's not a veggie burger. It's a meat substitute, and I'd much rather prefer this over the Impossible Burger, because that's made from soy. So this is not bad for what it is, and I actually tasted it with art. It was pretty good. Now, if we go over to like Dr. Prager, he makes a great veggie burger too. And I just wish, why can't someone use avocado oil or like, extra virgin olive oil. We look at Dr. Prager's. It's an heirloom veggie burger, and he has all good ingredients here, right? But what kind of oil is he using? He's using expeller pressed oil. So Dr. Prager, I'm sure you have the cash, right? You're a doctor, right? If I was going to make a burger, I would use avocado oil. He's using expeller pressed canola oil, which, yeah, it's better than regular canola oil, but why can't someone use avocado oil? Even Amy, in this case, is using uh, sunflower oil, but it's not expeller pressed. And last but not least, this is the kind of veggie burger I would definitely stay away from. It'd be Gardein. Where's the burger? Don't tell me they ran out of burgers. Oh, man. They did it. The ultimate beef list. It's the ultimate beef burger. Spoiler alert, it's not the ultimate, so I would stay away from that. And just to show you with Amy, this is her organic all-American veggie burger here. And she normally is really good at oils here. But let's uh, take a look what kind of oil she's using. Oh, she, yeah, she's using the expeller pressed high oleic sunflower oil. So safflower. safflower oil or sunflower, either one. Sometimes they don't know. So it'd be better if she used extra virgin olive oil, but overall not bad. So those are your choices for veggie burgers. You got to read the ingredients because the devil's in the details, specifically with the other ingredients and the oil. So that's it, you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, share, but push the bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications because this month and this month only, six to seven videos coming at you every single day for the month of January to set you on the right path to healthy eating for 2020. Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.